Just to recap, you've seen me process a file now from beginning to end, and you've seen my settings that I've used. You can use those as a starting point to discover your own. And so the main points are use decent equipment, but remember, you don't have to spend huge amounts of money. The Zoom H1 is £80, and you can use that as a microphone as well as a recording device. So in addition to a reasonably quiet recording environment, then you need to position the microphone correctly to get the best result. So not too close and not too far away, just, just in the right place to get the best sound. And you can do this more effectively if you monitor the recording as you go with headphones. And if you're using a very sensitive microphone, microphones on the H1 or H4 are sensitive, you need a wind jammer. We've covered how to edit the files using Audacity, so how to import them and edit, take out the breaths from the raw unedited files so that you've got no breaths and noises. We showed how to use the denoise process to take out any background noise or hiss. We even showed it take out a fan noise, which was quite extreme, and you'd never have that in your recording environment. Uh, we covered setting up hotkeys to make uh, deleting sections and silencing sections easier and quicker. We covered how to save the .aup file. We carried on working with it and used some compression and it was important to do this in order. So compression was the first thing we did. Then we added some EQ before we normalized it. We then covered adding music, sound effects and ambience to the mix and uh, looked at how to do fade in, fade out uh, then we created a masters folder and exported the audio ready to sync to the video. So hopefully that helps you to understand the basics of Audacity and hopefully you can see how using this software and understanding a few processes can make your soundtrack so much better. Thank you for watching and happy audio editing.